Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today we are making two cards and for today I decided to use something different from my usual card making tutorial. So today I thought let's play with some alcohol inks. Now with alcohol inks I always like to you know uh, kind of uh, put gloves in my hand, they kind of help my hands from being stained etc. And I'm also wearing a mask which I of course could not show in the video but those are the normal uh, safety precautions that I take whenever I'm working with alcohol inks. Now for alcohol inks uh, there are a couple of things which you need to have like basics. So one of the thing is to have an alcohol ink paper on which alcohol ink reacts beautifully. So I have using craft angles alcohol ink paper and then I'm using three different shades of alcohol inks which I showed you. And then I'll be using some IPA to move the color around. Now as always with all my tutorials whatever product I'm talking about or using are mentioned in the link below in the description of the video. Now uh, for this particular card I decided to not do something very complicated rather I have just put in some alcohol ink on top of an alcohol ink paper and then I am moving them using some IPA. And then what I am doing is I am using my heat tool to kind of move these alcohol ink around and kind of create a pattern. Now uh, there are a lot of things that you could do with alcohol ink. This is something which is very beginner friendly that I thought you know I will show you. And this created a beautiful pattern which I will just show you in a detail like look at all those beautiful rippled effects. Now this is this uh, pattern is something which is you know very particular with alcohol ink. This you will not find normally in other uh, mediums that you use and whatever was left over I kind of just put it on top of like uh, some dual textured white card stocks and that I'll use for die cutting so nothing goes to waste in this particular case. So now we have two sheets the first one on the right is the actual design and on the left is the kind of uh, leftover alcohol ink that I just smooshed on the dual textured white card stock. Now we'll move on to the fun part of these cards that is actually die cutting and then making the cards. So I am using some gold mirror cardstock and those leftover smooshing that I did on the old textured white and I'm die cutting some leaf die cuts out of it. For that I'm using these craft angles newly launched leaf dies and I'm using the ones where actually it will cut out the hardcore like the uh, base of the leaf and then I'm using some stitch circles on the same gold mirror cardstock and a regular wild dual textured which will kind of give me the uh, sentiment base. Now here you will see me start assembling the card. Now you can see all the die cuts of the leaves that I have done as they will be the major focal point and the pattern on top of my card. I have cut down the alcohol ink panel that I created into kind of a half uh, size and I am using one for the first card which is the extreme base of our card and then I am kind of using those leaves die cut that I did out of white, gold and the alcohol ink piece to kind of create the pattern. Now this is completely you know kind of a personal choice you could go as crazy as you want with leaves or you could you know kind of uh, add a little bit of them. I kind of wanted to you know uh, do like a layer of white on top of that alcohol ink background to kind of pop my leaves and then I used um, the alcohol ink leaf papers die cut uh, to kind of you know again make a contrast between the white and the alcohol ink background and then I'm using the skeleton leaf or the border kind of a leaf to kind of you know just add some interest in the pattern. And for that I have used some white ones and some gold ones just to add some pop of gold you know just for an added fun because I felt only black and white and grey is kind of you know it kind of toned down the uh, card. For sticking these die cuts I have used my regular glue uh, you could you know honestly use any glue you have and once I am happy I am kind of using this sentiment from one of the craft angle stamp and then I am just stamping it in some black what's fine onyx black ink you know to just make the sentiment pop on top of the white card circle. Now for the base once I am happy with how the card uh, design has come up I have to of course you know create a card out of it. So for that I am using these vertical craft angles notelets uh, which come with you know the matching envelope and then I am using some foam tape to kind of mount this on top of the card and that will kind of complete my card however I felt I needed some gold splatters 
So for that I am using these gold dust watercolor pens. Here you can see the beautiful, um, you know, the close up of the card. So this was the first card of the day. Now for the second, uh, we have this leftover alcohol ink piece which we created in the start. And then I have some gold mirror cardstock through which I am kind of creating this uh, filigree border kind of, uh, sorry, this is the craft angles flourish border die that I am using to kind of create that flourish border end. And that will, you know, just kind of jazz up and add some gold on our card base. So that is what I'm using. And then I am kind of mounting our alcohol ink panel, the remaining one, on top of this gold uh, border that we created. So this will kind of create the base of our card, the second card. And then I'm just trimming it down slightly here uh, so that it's a rectangle. And then finally, I'll trim it to the size of the notelet or our card base, which is our A2 card size. Then what I'm doing is I'm kind of using this leaf die from the same the gold mirror cardstock and the white cardstock. However, before I put that I decided to add splatters on this card as well just to tie in that gold together. And then I'm using the die cuts. Uh, I have kept this the die cutting shapes on this pretty simple. And then we'll move on to the next or the very fun part of our card which is doing some foiling. Now for the sentiment I am using these pre-printed uh, sentiment sheets by Craft Angles and I am using this laminator. Now this is a fairly old laminator, I think almost 10 years old and now you will find that there are a lot of new options available so you know you can try whatever is available now. Uh, for this I am using uh, yellow gold reactive foils. Now the shade of yellow gold is very similar to the mirror cardstock so I am using that. And what I am doing is I am putting the foil on top of the sentiment. Uh, the foil color is on the top. So the shiny side or the colored side of the foil is on the top. And I pass this through the laminator. Now normally uh, one pass should work. However, this is a like a home um, laminator so it's not a very heavy duty laminator and as i said you know this is a fairly old laminator so i'm kind of passing the same sheet twice through the laminator just to be sure that all the laser print ink has reactivated with the foil and the foil is stuck properly to wherever uh, you know the sentiment is there now for this to work one of the uh, secret that i have learned is you have to make sure that you use an extremely good printer so the laser ink on the printer should be good quality for your foil to stick to on top of it and i have never had any issues in terms of craft angle sentiments that uh, you know we uh, have made so now you can see how shiny that sentiment looks and then I'm just foam mounting it on top of my card base and that will kind of complete you know my card pattern and then what I do is same as first card I will kind of you know uh, create uh, a base through the craft angles notelet card and then I'll stick this card pattern on top of that card base and that will complete my second card now guys if you want a detailed uh, you know tutorial on foil etc do let me know i'll be happy to make one for you all but today i just wanted to show it as one part of the card so i did not go it in extreme depth i do have a couple of videos on the same as always i do leave you with a lot of uh, details of all the cards that i made today i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you did don't forget to like comment and do consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you in my next tutorial till then guys take care Bye bye